Pastor Ed here with Daily Devotions for Friday, March the 15th, 2024. We've been looking at that passage from last Sunday, Mark 12, 28 to 34, in particular, um, the verse where at the beginning of that reading, where Jesus is asked by the scribe, which is the first commandment? In other words, which is the, the most important one? Which is the preeminent one? Um, and Jesus answers, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God uh, is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And he's quoting there from Deuteronomy 6, 4, as I've been pointing out all week. But then Jesus adds, a second is this. In Matthew, it, it's even a little bit better, more interesting. It says, a second is like it. Um, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Um, there is no other commandment greater than these. So it's almost equating them. Uh, and I think that's, you know, what we've come to understand, that we love God um, by loving others. And we, when we love others, we are in, in effect, more than in effect, in reality, um, loving God. So continuing that thought, a fellow by the name of Josh Hunt um, once told the story. I stepped outside my hotel room yesterday. And I saw this thin elderly woman taking small steps in a circle. She seemed to be mumbling. Our eyes connected. And she said, they left me here. I, I don't know where they've gone. I don't know what, what room I'm in. Well, so I held out my hand, he writes. She grabbed mine. And I said, look, let's walk down to the office and see what we can find out. And as they walked to the office and into the office, an elderly man was walking out. And he began to gently scold her. I, I told you to stay in the van, he said. You, you were supposed to be in the van. What are you doing out here? And he thanked um, this Josh and then explained that this woman had Alzheimer's. And afterwards, Josh thought to himself, was she my responsibility? Was it my obligation, moral obligation, to stop and help her? She wasn't my mother. It wasn't any relation or kin to me. Would I have been sitting to just get in my car and drive off? And then he concluded, I wouldn't want to live in a world like that, would you? I see in this passage the, the dream of a, of a heavenly father whose children are reasonable and kind and simply do unto others as they as we would have done unto us. You can't make enough rules to work for every situation. Just be reasonable, he said. Just be kind. Just be decent. In other words, love your neighbor as yourself. Another gentleman by the name of Steve Herford once pointed out, Jesus wants us to see that the neighbor next door or the people sitting next to us on a plane or in a classroom are not interruptions to our schedule. They are there by divine appointment. Jesus wants us to see their needs, their, their loneliness, their longings, and he wants, us to give a, he wants to give us the courage to reach out to them. And the way that that first gentleman responded when he saw that woman walking around confused at the hotel. Another gentleman by the name of Dale Pilgrim says, to love God supremely and to love other people purely is basically the Bible in a nutshell, he said. It's the beginning and the end of the life of life the way that God intended it to be lived. An example of this kind of love was provided to me this week, he said, when I had the opportunity to share with someone who spoke of the many times uh, that they've been able to give to other people. And they said, when I do that, I, I just feel so wonderful in here, pointing to his heart. This is a picture of loving your neighbors yourself, of giving away as much as we would enjoy receiving the gift. And I don't know who said this, but it is so true. The love of our neighbor in all its fullness simply means being able to say to him or to her, what are you going through? And then, as we've been talking about doing what we can to respond to that need, to help that person uh, in need, uh, to love them as we would want to be loved if we were in that situation, to love them uh, as we love ourselves. Um, 
it, it's the whole Bible. I mean, that's why I'm spending a whole week on this, just on this, this, this one verse or a couple of lines in Scripture, because it basically is the summation of everything. Love the Lord your God with your heart, soul, mind, and strengthen your neighbor as yourself. You do that, and you're pretty much on target, as I suggested on Sunday. Well, we've got one more day to talk about this, and we'll wrap it up tomorrow. Hope you have a great day today. We'll see you then. Take care. Bye.